I wasn't here, so. But anyway. Oh shoot, I was at, about to trip over this. <laughs> Hello everyone, Oeso here from RVT. So last video I made, uh, it was about the uh, concrete. The concrete guys, they finished everything up and they left. They packed everything and left. Called the uh, building guy and he showed up and see, it does the uh, steal the concrete floor. It rained. Uh, so it sucks because of that, but it got a little muddy over here. But everything's drying up now. Uh, they brought they brought everything from back there. If you remember, a little while back, but I guess it's been like what two years when they brought everything over here. And uh, actually, when I brought everything over here and put it over there, and it's just been sitting there. But here's the uh, the panels and some of the trim. As you can see, the trim is kind of like grayish uh or brown or something like that I, can't, I don't know the color of it and the building was green uh if you remember my house from tilson homes it was green so that's why we built the building the building green so it will match but this is what we got now here's the wall here's the building now this one this wall it's not square yet because when I was standing from that side looking at this way this one was kind of like leaning that way and I'm pretty sure they're, they're gonna square everything up before they put the panels up there because they did the same thing to that side as you can see they put the panels on that side already and then here's some water from the rain And I got some water here in the shower. It's uh, waterproof now. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. And here's the reach cap for the building. There's the main door. They still have to put it up there. Well, I'm gonna go walk over here in the back. But before I do, there's the um, the bay door area to like 12 by 12. Put over there. Another one over there. Is one of those pieces but uh, first you know I was planning on doing it myself and then I like I said before I just don't have the time you know I've been you know at work and lifting not only that but lifting these things up there it was gonna be like hard by myself the guy that came over he had like a crew of uh, there was like four including himself the main guy and uh yeah they they brought in a telehandler over here and lifted that up and you know a bit climbing up there like monkeys something i cannot do anymore <laughs> but i was watching them and uh you know i didn't want to come out here because it was cold outside and i didn't want to bother them in any way stay out of the way and besides that you know then work came up and they came and I wasn't here so but anyway oh shoot I was at, about to trip over this <laughs> there's the uh, foam insulation um I guess I put it in there I noticed that they didn't oh I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a helmet or something before I bust my butt over here <laughs> And I noticed that over there they didn't do it, so I'm gonna ask them about that. The insulation is right there in those boxes. Uh, so I'm gonna ask them, so what are you gonna do about that? Are they gonna insert it from the top? You know, from right here down? Is that how they do it or, or what? Because this one looks like, this one it looks like it was placed there and screwed by the screws. So I don't understand that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask about that. <clears throat> well, here's the color. And like I say, you know, my Tilson home was green and the train was dark gray or smoke gray or something like that. 
and that's the closest I could get it, you know, on that on that other one, on the tr on that trim right there. Then you have the dark smoke gray. Yeah, I think this is called uh, forest green. Over here, I see some uh, corrosion. I think it's just on the surface. But that's because it's just been sitting there. And later on, you know, I'm going uh, to go ahead and paint it, you know, white. And so it will match the house. And then put, paint the train black. But I'm going to leave it like that, you know, for now. Until, until it's time for us to paint it. There's the main door right here. You can take a look from this angle. I mean, on the pictures, it didn't look this big. I was telling my wife, it's like, you know what? I think we should, because this is like, if you watch my last video on the concrete, I explained what I was planning on doing on the walls here. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's gotta be up there on the top right. But just a little, just like why I explained my last video a little bit, but I'll explain in more detail in my last video. Put a wall right here, all the way across, from there all the way across to that, and make this into the, you know, man cave or, or you know, if you have my parents or my mother-in-law or somebody coming over and stay, spend the night my brothers you know they live out of town well one of them does they can spend the night here and then maybe just maybe make the uh second floor in this area and then probably a little bit higher than that because i don't want to be able to almost touch it and almost touch that one <laughs> so and I'm short, but still, you know. <laughs> See, I don't want to. I want the the the, the uh, ceiling a bit a little bit higher, but I can still make a second floor here. Somehow, put the uh, stairs. Maybe over there by the entrance, like a spiral stairs going up. But I don't know. I mean, that would be nice, you know, to have for family members or somebody. Spending a night over here. Like, you know, my brother, he's coming for Christmas. And uh, he's going to bring his RV over here and park it over there next to mine. And spend the night over there, you know, with his family. It's, he's got a bigger one than mine, though. But, you know, it'd be nice to just have something where they can spend the night, you know. <clears throat> but... Uh, I'm gonna come back. To, uh, hopefully they'll come tomorrow, and then I'll show you some of that. Or if not, then I'll show you the last how the last the uh, how the conclusion of the final product of the of the uh, building. So see you uh, tomorrow. All right. So it is the next day. The uh, people have gone to uh, the workers have gone to lunch. This is what I have so far. We'll walk in here. Go around the back first. The whole entire back is done. There's some trim. I guess those are for the corners. And I think that's for the uh, for the eaves. This is the other side. It 
So I guess uh, after they come back, they're gonna finish up this side. Because earlier they were doing the trim on the uh, garage doors. I guess they got done with that and now they're gonna finish this small section right here around the garage doors. I did explain the to the guy that uh, that added because right after we talk about this side, you know, not having that foam thing in there, he told me that uh, that they usually uh, you know they usually just push it in and then around this they uh, they loosen the the screw there and then they push the rest of it in. But that's like towards the end of it. So, and then uh, they just slide that in there, like I like I did in on this section. I didn't show you guys, but I did that section by, by myself. And uh, yeah, it's coming along fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let him finish. And uh, and then now inspect it after they get done do my own little inspection here uh, I noticed that the other day there was a bolt missing right there so I had to make sure that I remind them of that unless if they see it if they say that we're done and then the bolt's still not in there I'm gonna go ahead and tell them that there's a bolt missing there <clears throat> Let me see if the other I didn't even check the other corners but unless if there's no bolt there on the plant because this side is the same thing right there oh, on the right side. There's probably not one in there. I don't know. But we'll see. I'll, I'll still ask him, see what he says. If they haven't put the bolt in there. I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be back and put the missing bolts on everything that's missing. Because I noticed over there too, there's one missing on this one, that one, that one. They're all the way down. But... <clears throat> But I'm pretty sure they'll they'll get it done. I'm not I'm just not gonna say anything until they get done. See if they'll they'll do it. On this one right here, they did have to cut that right there because apparently the concrete guys they put that in the wrong place. So they came back and put that one in there. It's like an anchor, the ones that you drill from the top. There was, those are not recommended, but you know, that's the only one. So I'll say that's that's pretty good. You know, that's only one uh, seat purling. But they're gonna be back after lunch, and oh shoot. I'm always tripping on that thing. But anyway, they're going to be back after lunch so I can finish this up, I'm assuming. Because it did say that they will finish it at today. So, can't wait till that happens. And then here's the the roof. They still have to do that. So, Alright, so I'll show you guys after they get done. All right, so it is actually uh, Monday today. They worked over on Sunday, a little bit on Saturday, but uh, they didn't get done. He was hoping that he was gonna get done Sunday, but uh, he couldn't get it done. And he showed me, you know, what the water have done. Some of that just, uh, I think that's just paper. 
Yeah, that's just paper, but some areas it actually got corroded. But at least it's up now. Here's a, another spot. Like he did show me, say, I guess, so I can know that what's going on there. And I knew, I knew that was happening, so it was, I wasn't surprised on that. Now the garage doors. Thinking about knocking those out by myself. The only thing that I'm thinking about that I'm going to need is something over here in the middle going up and down. Um but that 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 thing is like at an angle, so I'll figure it out later on. I don't know what kind of metal I'm gonna use up there. But I'm gonna have to have something down in the middle so I can put because I think there's like a spring on this side and another spring on this side and something's supposed to be holding it in the middle and I'm glad that these are 12 foot tall 12 feet I'm sorry 12 foot <laughs> 12 feet tall I'm glad that it's 12 feet tall because uh, it's gonna open up and then go straight and I wish I can kind of like angle it like that but the garage door that, that that we have they go 90 degree right here instead of uh, 4 4 4 uh, 12 4 I think that's a picture of the roof 12 4 so I'm just gonna put them straight I guess since that's how they go um, but this is they're mostly done they just have they just have this area down here on the on the roof and then come Monday uh not not Monday come uh next weekend cuz only they only work on the weekends because they actually have full-time jobs I think I mentioned that the guy you know he got a full-time job doing this kind of job but his boss uh let him work on the on the weekend on his own but I thought that was pretty nice of them doing that for him, you know, because I, I think he is, he does look like a good worker to me, so. And uh, from what I've seen here so far, it's doing pretty well. I also did ask him about the corners right here. That were missing the bolts. Right there. He said that that's, that's how the plans show. Um because that right there ends and it goes in and then like that I don't know how I don't know how but the planes calls do not have a bolt in and uh nut on there so but I haven't even looked at it but he knows what he's doing but yeah, that's that's what's going on. Next uh, weekend, I'll come back again and show you the the results of everything here after they get done with the uh, top, and then uh, and after that they're done. He did uh, have to move. I think I mentioned that last weekend or over the the when they were working here. They did have to move that one right there, move it this way because the bolts that put them on the wrong place, the concrete people. And also, right here. They had to move it. I think this one they had to move it out a little bit. So they bought those uh wedge anchor anchor board, I mean uh, anchors. Oh man, sorry. I'm, I think I'm getting, I don't know if it's allergies or what, but I'm, I think I'm getting sick again. Yeah, there it is, wedge anchors, heavy duty. And that right there came with the building, but he's, he's gonna have to buy some new because they got damaged by the water since they were sitting out there for three years. He did put new. He brought his own 
and I'm gonna have to pay him for for the uh, the masking there on the top for the so the water doesn't come in. All right, so I'll be back after I get done, or maybe in between. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, so the crew just left. And this is what they have so far. I think they're almost done. So I think they just have to show up for one more day. Today they only show up for a few hours. Um, but they're not quite done yet. So, as you can see, they installed that today. And then they finish putting the rest of the screws there they were missing so they came back today and completed that let's go over here this is the inside Then they need to add some more foam. They ran out of foam. Uh, and they put it like in there. And you can see they like coming out here. They still had to move one more. They still had to put one more strip there. And uh, the guy told me that he's gonna give me, I think it's like two, two or three years warranty on, uh, on leaks from the roof. Uh, I can see their light coming in from there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I know it's got a leak from there. Right there. And they still have to, of course, they still have to put the uh, the other side finish. The edging for the top over here from the outside I can I can show you oh yeah this this right here they had to buy a new box because the one that I had um, you know got all wet and you saw it on the on my last video I didn't know what that was and what what it was for and that's actually for for the panels on the roof they put like one strip of that on every panel so the water don't get in here but you had to buy a, a box of that stuff and then all that is like leftover stuff I guess and he's and there's some screws he said that they were gonna um, he was gonna leave everything oh here here's the panels right here that he was gonna leave some of the stuff for me to um, in case if I need them to put more screws somewhere or if I put a window somewhere that I'll have extra screws. But that's just pretty good. Cause I am planning, I don't know, like I said, you know, maybe put a window up there, but I don't know. I mean, that's down the line. I probably just end up not doing windows. So keep it dark in here so I can watch movies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Here's the other side, so you can see it's not finished over here on the top. Let's go over here to the back. Later on, you know, I'm gonna put some uh, more dirt over here so so I can make it even. Because right now it's, a, I don't, it's hard to see on camera, but it's a bunch of uh, bumps and stuff. It's not even. Is back over here he said that uh, the some of the panels were warped so some of the edging from the from the from the roof they're sticking out he said that he can cut them so he can make it even and I told him I said it doesn't matter on the back you know just leave it like that um, 
the front is, is the same thing. It's kind of like sticking out a little bit, but it's less than here. So I'd say if you want to do just the front, that's fine. Just trim the, trim the front and leave the back alone. Don't, don't mess with it. This is it's on the back. So what I need to do on my next video, I might be bringing dirt from back here so I can level, level out the front. We have a bunch of those here. Bunch of cardinals. All right, so here I am on top of the property. I'm on the edge of my property. Here's the neighbor's area. And the fence is right here. Now there's some dirt here, but I'm gonna leave this here because I don't want the water coming from that area this way into my property. So I'm just gonna grab some dirt from all of this right here and take it to the back and actually to the front the building is right here then the, that's the back of it and uh, so I'm gonna move all this dirt <clears throat> to the front so I can make it level it's gonna take a while but I wish I can get rid of that it's just a bunch of vines and stuff sitting there and, uh, and some of those vines you know they're about two three inches thick so i wish i can just go and with my uh brush hog on my llama on my tractor back into it but i already tried that and it takes forever and um i can see that my tractor struggles and i hear a bunch of coyotes from over there the other side of the street probably but anyways, <clears throat> I might come back uh, next time, next weekend, when they finish everything. And I might show you when, after they get done. Uh, I talked to the to the guy and, uh, um, you know, if you interested on, you know, hiring him for to putting up your existing building that you have in pieces. Or, or if you want them to want, make one from scratch. They can do that too and they also do carports and stuff they actually do welding that's their main thing that they do but since this is a bolt bolted uh building they can do that too if you have one uh, already built or cut to pieces or they can make their own buildings and i'm gonna leave his information down right here so if you want to contact him and just tell, tell him that Lorenzo sent him. And then, I mean, I don't get anything for that. But I told him, you know, he's been doing a good job on my building my building. So I told him that I was going to, you know, go ahead and share his information. And uh, if you're interested in building your own building or carport or anything like that, anything that they can weld, he can do it. So... I'll be back in my next video and show you the rest of that after they get done. All right, so the weekend passed. Uh, this weekend they didn't do anything. I guess they were busy somewhere else doing another job. But uh, you know, he like I said, he's gonna let me do the uh, rest of it on payments because I already gave him half. And uh, I don't know if that's I said that already or not, but that's what's going on. And now he uh, he said that he'll be back and. Uh, luckily it rained during the week and he got, he called me and asked me if I if uh if there were any leaks in there and uh I, I, there were actually quite a few in there I told him that I might have to just explain to him where I saw him and then he said that he was gonna come back and look at it so um but anyways I think that's that's the last, the last thing he's got to do. Everything else is done. See, he put this other side. Uh, oh, they. Um, and then, I actually been 
bring in dirt from back there you know since uh i'm off this week and uh next week is actually christmas or next weekend not this weekend but next weekend so merry christmas to everybody out there hope you have a awesome christmas this year 2023 um but anyways i've been working over here and uh bringing some dirt from back there i'm just making a hole back there <clears throat> i'm gonna go back there and show you what's going on all right so this is where i was standing the other day when i was explaining to you about the dirt here's the hole that i'm making and uh there's a shop back there i just i wish i can have a straight shot from here to there but there's a bunch of brush over here so it's not, that's not possible so i had to go all the way down there been working out here for like seven hours now and i think i'm about to call it a day because even though i'm riding in the tractor on the tractor it's still kind of you know bouncing around and all that crap you know still kind of physically <laughs> involved in it <laughs> so i'm digging the dirt from back there bringing it over here dumping it over here making a big pile and then once i do a big pile then i grab it and luckily you know this is all sand it's just sand all of that so i don't have to mess with rocks or clay or anything like that which is pretty lucky about that my other property it was just clay like really bad clay just uh you step around outside after it rained and uh all of a sudden you'll be walking with your shoes will get heavy and heavier you'll be picking up clay and <laughs> next, next thing you know you'll be having a sole like that thick on the bottom of your shoe and uh bring it over here and just dump it over here like I said, you know, I've been out here for like eight hours now. Now, I still need a little bit more. This is not the final thing. Because I actually need to bring... This is fine right here. But over there, I need to bring it higher. And then put more dirt right here. And then hopefully more here if I had time. And I finally put my tractor in here. Since I'm, I was able to drive in here. And uh, it feels weird, you know. I never drove inside the uh, concrete. I mean, yeah, on concrete, it kind of kind of feels weird, you know. You can actually feel this tires, <laughs> which is kind of weird for me. Uh, they still have the ladder over here. They have, they still, like I say, you know, gonna have to come back maybe next weekend, or I don't know, because next weekend is Christmas. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy with this, and he actually he actually brought this, and I was gonna buy it. I went to uh, Walmart, and luckily they didn't have it, so I didn't buy it. And then when I, uh, it, it was actually the same day that they were here. I was at Walmart, and I was like, you know what? Let, let me go and check to see if they have any of those. And uh, luckily they didn't have any. And then uh, we got home uh, late last. Like, that day and they were gone by then then i walked over here and i was like oh man they already installed that and i was actually looking for screws to install these two because they didn't have i didn't have any of those but it's a heavy duty one too i guess they had an extra one laying around or something i don't know but i didn't i didn't even ask he just asked me if I had the hardware and I said no and I guess uh, he took it up on himself to install one there which is really nice again you know if you want to get to uh, he's a pretty nice guy so and he he knows his stuff so if you, if you want the uh, to contact him to build in a carport or anything like that they weld everything and I mean you don't have to have the building you don't have to have the materials and they actually build it for you but anyways, this is going to be it for this video. 
uh, make sure you just you just like and subscribe and uh, um, hit the like and subscribe and if you want to see sneak peek before YouTube follow me on Instagram I always put picture there sometimes on uh, what's going on uh, and that's it thank you for watching